have a question for you. If you could choose to upload your mind to a computer, would you do it? This could theoretically make you immortal, just as a computer program. And what if everyone chose to do this? Think about it. A world of machines with human minds. Today, it's only possible with very small animals. But if technology continues to progress at its current pace, we might be able to crack the code and digitize human consciousness. The notion of mind uploading assumes that the mind arises from activity in the brain. Some researchers believe that an artificial brain could be constructed in as early as 10 years. In an attempt to test this technology, researchers uploaded the mind of a worm onto a computer and ran a virtual recreation of the worm's mind. The simulated worm reacted in exactly the same way as a real worm. Not because anybody programmed it to do so, but because this kind of behavior was hardwired in its neural network. But that's just a worm with only 300 neurons. A human brain is slightly larger, sitting at about 86 billion neurons, where a single neuron can connect to 8,000 others and they all interact with each other by sending electrical signals. If, somehow, we were able to create the wiring diagram of a human brain, the next big challenge would be to read the constant activity of all these neurons. Now, once mind upload technology is achieved, you could potentially create many copies of yourself, clone your consciousness, and exist in more than one location. Who knows, you might even be able to put your consciousness into a powerful machine and send it into space to colonize celestial bodies beyond our solar system. Just imagine the Curiosity rover on Mars, but with the mind and consciousness of an actual human. In one study, scientists successfully simulated elements of a rat's neocortical column, which is a complex layer of brain tissue present in all mammals. This is the closest we have come to building a functional model of the human brain, a series of cortical simulations. These simulations have utilized the very best in computer technology, such as IBM's Blue Gene supercomputer, and have successively matched the processing power of a brain. Well, a brain with only 1.6 billion neurons, which is about the equivalent of a cat brain. But even these models, which are run on some of the best computer hardware in existence, lag behind the actual processing power of their biological counterparts. Among other things, this is mainly due to the inability of computers to process information in parallel by doing many calculations simultaneously. The duration depends on the complexity of the task, but for a rough example, what takes a cat brain one second to process might take the blue gene supercomputer 10 seconds or more. Other barriers include storage space and sheer processing power. A complete map of the human brain containing detailed information about each neuron and synapse would occupy about 20,000 terabytes and require about 1,016 flops of processing power to function. In other words, it's huge. Currently, only the world's fastest supercomputer possesses the capability of crunching those kinds of numbers in a second. If computing technology continues to follow trends such as Moore's Law, which states that computing power doubles approximately every two years, well then it's possible that supercomputers will be able to run a simulation of the human mind within the next few years. Most scientists admit that we still have a long way to go before we can even construct a functional model of the human brain, let alone upload our own consciousness into a machine. But it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when.